welcome back to my channel. Today guys, we are doing a video that I have not done in a while. So a while ago on my channel, I had a series where I would call haunted numbers at 3 a.m. Hear me out, okay? There is a lot of phone numbers online that you're not supposed to call. They kind of have like urban legends behind them, such as Wrinkles the Clown, which we're gonna be calling today, and you know, Red, red Room numbers, is that what it's called? I don't know. Ones that you're just not supposed to call that have a lot of really bad consequences. I felt like being a straight up rebel, so. We're gonna be calling haunted numbers at 3 a.m. tonight that you're not supposed to call. Also, be sure to subscribe to the Spooky Squad and smash a like if you guys want me to do a part two. But let's get calling some creepy curse numbers. Okay guys, so the first number we're going to be calling today, we're starting off strong, we're calling Wrinkles the Clown. Yes, that right there on the screen to the right of me. That's Wrinkles the Clown. So Wrinkles actually is a real clown that apparently you can hire to come to your kid's birthday party. However, the problem with Wrinkles is he wasn't your typical clown that would make balloon animals, you know, and have fun with the kids. He was actually meant to traumatize your child. So parents would call for their kids if they were misbehaving or did something bad, they would call Wrinkles and hire him to go to their kids' birthdays and traumatize their children. Wow. Um, I don't know how to feel about that, but rumor has it that Wrinkles the Clown's phone number, which I'm gonna be calling, actually works and sometimes he answers the phone. So I'm terrified. I've called him a few times before. He's never answered, but today he might answer the phone. We'll see. And maybe I can even leave a voicemail. So we're gonna call call him right now. His phone number is 407-734-0254. Let me show you guys. This is Wrinkles phone number. All right. I'm a little scared. We're going to call um, Wrinkles. Let's see. Is it ringing? How are you ringing? Wrinkles the clown. I'm not here to take your call. Leave me a message and I'll call you back. <laughs> I was wondering, you know, a lot of people think you're this mean, scary clown, right? Well, I was wondering if you wanted to actually be my friend and come over sometime on my birthday. That would be great if you could give me a call back. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh my god, okay, I just left him a voicemail. <laughs> I didn't realize his voicemail was gonna be that fast to the, you know, to the beat, but it was literally right after I got to his voicemail box. It literally was him. It was wrinkles. I heard his voice. Imagine he calls me back. No, if he calls me back, it's done. It's over with, okay? Now he has my phone number, so. That was not the best idea. I guess we're gonna, we're gonna call the next haunted number, but the next one, um, oh my God, what is this one? The next one is 630-296-7536. This is another scary phone number that actually works. And once a call goes through, a woman's voice is heard on the receiving end, telling callers that the information is being traced. Soon afterwards, callers would be given an appointment and told that they've been scheduled for a remodel. So I have no idea what the model is or what this woman is supposed to do, but people on Reddit were saying that this was actually super unsettling for them. So we're going to call it. Um, let's put the phone number in. 630-296. I'm a little scared to call this one. 7536. Because I don't know if it's like an actual appointment or something. And if somebody on Reddit was like making a joke about it to like prank people. But let's find out. Okay, here we go. It's calling. You have been the train. Your number has been logged and traced. What? A service representative will be with you shortly for remodeling. We at Booth World Industries say thanks. You have a marvelous day. I don't want to leave a voicemail. I ended the call. What the hell is Booth World? Okay, I don't know what Booth World is, but I think that might like be one of those numbers that literally tracks my phone number, tracks my location. That's really dangerous, okay? Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know why I just did that for you guys. I don't know what they meant. They said I had been logged and traced or something like that. Like they logged my information and they're gonna be calling me back. I'm good. No thank you, Booth World. Don't know what Booth World is, but I kind of don't want to know what Booth World is. So, okay, that's a legit thing. All right, I don't know how much more of this I should do, but we have another number, okay? So this one is 2020-2020. I don't know how convinced I am that this number is going to work, but legend has it that once you call it, a female with a sharp voice answers the phone and repeats, help me, help me, 
Susie's dying or help me, help me, Susie's drowning. To date, there have been no confirmed reports of a real Susie actually drowning, but the call can surely make you feel a little bit spooked out. So guys, I feel like this actually isn't even a real phone number, but we're gonna call it 20202020. It's not even a full number. I just wanna show you guys this. It looks like this on my phone. Sorry if you guys can't see it, I'm trying to focus. That's what the number supposedly looks like. I don't know how accurate that is. Let's see if it goes through. Welcome to the wireless. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Hey. Please check the number and dial again. What if I try adding an extra zero? Two zero two zero two zero two zero two zero. Let's try that. Welcome to the wireless. Man. Okay, I was a little scared after reading the backstory about Susie's drowning. Susie's drowning. So maybe it's the best thing that nobody did answer that phone call and I didn't hear any mysterious woman screaming and crying because I don't know how I would have felt about that. But that one is claimed to be real and it's not so false guys i just debunked that number it has been debunked it did not work but the other few have worked so let's go on to the next haunted number the next haunted number is 909-390-0003 and it says if you dial this number it links you to a unique experience a conversation with yourself which some people find this to be really freaking creepy and unsettling that you're encountering your own voice echoing and repeating you forever and people don't even understand why this phone number is able to repeat yourself or sound just like you or literally imitate your voice but it is so we're gonna see if this is a real thing i kind of don't want this one to be real either but let's find out okay we're gonna call it here's the number i just want to show you guys there it is let's call it hello 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 Oh my god, it keeps repeating! repeating. Stop repeating after, repeating after me! Who are you? Who are you? Is there someone behind, the, someone phone? behind the phone? Pick up right, Pick now. Up right now. Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. I'm literally just arguing with myself. Do you guys hear this? It's repeating everything, repeating everything I say. Stop repeating after me! Goodbye. Goodbye. I can't believe that worked! Okay, first off. It was creepy. More of like annoying. Kind of like that one scene in Brother Bear where the two moose are fighting and it's like, you're copying me. Why is it a phone number that you literally just call and it repeats everything that you're saying through the phone? Why does someone have that just set up and enabled? What is the whole concept or point? Was it meant to scare people? Cause I feel like that was meant to scare people. It was like one of those phone numbers that someone's like putting a landline, put some technology behind it to repeat everything you say. I don't really like it cause it scares me, but it is weird. So it worked. That one actually is confirmed to be true. So. There he is true on that. Don't know how to feel about it. Don't know what they're doing with it. Let's do the next phone number, guys. Okay, so this next phone number is 270-301-5797. So this phone number I actually found on a Reddit form as well. It had no information on it, but the person who posted it said, do not call this phone number. Whatever you do, I regretted it. I am warning you all. Do not call it. Of course I'm gonna call it. If they're gonna say that it's that scary and that traumatizing, then I kind of need to know for myself. Not that, you know, I don't regret the impulsive choices I make on a daily basis, but I am a little bit curious as to what would happen if I call this number. So I guess let me be the guinea pig. Don't try this at home. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. There it is. Right, let's hit the call button. Oh my God. Okay. What is this? Sounds like I'm on a waiting line. Did someone prank me on Reddit? I don't know if I'm supposed to call this number. Hello. You have dialed into here and there along the echo. A what? guide to the echo river for drifters and pilgrims. What the frick? This guide is a public service provided by the Bureau of Secret Tourism. Huh? What are they talking about? This is weird stuff. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? For a menu of our resources, press Re 1. If you have an extension to dial, press 9. Should I do it? For more information about our organization, press 3. If you don't remember dialing this number at all, press 5. To hear these options again, press 0. I'm gonna press 5 and see what happens. 
So, you don't remember dialing this number? No. You just sort of woke up with the phone pressed to your ear, ringing on the other end. <coughs> or maybe you thought you'd dial a different number, but your digits betrayed you. <gasps> or there's a faulty connection somewhere out there in that this is spider weird. web lattice. Of what the hell is this guy saying? All of creation. What the frick? kind of a nice feeling, really. Huh? It's like you and I just bumped into each other in the street or a little cafe. I don't like Say, this. Next time you meet a stranger, call us back at extension 7864 and hand them the phone. We'd love to get to know them. What? Welcome home. For historical science, I'm gonna push three. The Echo River. For a catalog of subterranean bird song, press one. Birds? For help identifying something that's happening in the dark. Wait, Never something that's happening in the dark? I'm pushing two. Hello? Hello? What the frick? Why are they screaming? Hello? Okay, I'm done. I'm done. That was by far the weirdest phone number I have ever called in my entire life. What was that? Okay, I'm not even making this up. I'm not saying that y'all should call it. Don't call it for protection reasons. Don't do this at home. But I'm not kidding. That just really happened. That was really weird. I don't know what I just called, what that business was supposed to be, what the whole point of it was supposed to be, but that actually has me scared and I kind of regret that I just used my actual phone number to call that number because I don't know what I just called. And it was getting really weird. I swear to God, at the end, they were screaming. I was like, you wanna report something you've seen in the dark? Like, what is this number linked to? Jeez, I regret calling that. I should have just not done that. Should have listened to the Reddit forum, but you know what? A girl has curiosity and um, makes impulsive choices sometimes, which leads me to the next phone number, which is really bad. This one is a big no, no, don't call it. Not that I believe it's gonna work, but we all know the number of the devil. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But there is like a whole thing online about calling 666. I hate it. I don't like it at all. Warning, trigger warning. It scares me. Um, but there are people that say they've had him pick up. So we're gonna put that theory to the test and call the scariest number of all. How does this video progressively get worse? That's the number. Okay, please don't answer this. I, I will be done after this if someone answers. Verizon Wireless. <gasps> to your call. Thank God Thank that didn't work. Okay, I'm not calling that. I just wanted to spook y'all out a little bit, okay? I'm not that spooky. I can't do that stuff on this channel. But I do have another one. Um, this number is called 701-347-1936. It says, on this number, a man is heard saying stuff for approximately 32 seconds. It says something in like French. I don't really understand what they're saying. It says like a man talks to you in a French voice or something. I don't know. I'm just gonna call it. I don't know what's gonna be. Yo, what? It says user busy. Do I call back? It just keeps saying user busy. It's a real number. Holy crap. Okay, it just keeps saying call back user busy. They're still busy. Do I just keep calling? I keep calling and it just says they're busy. What if I actually get on there? That's just busy the whole time. Someone's calling it already. Busy, busy, busy. Okay, I give up. That would have freaked me out if that was like an actual thing. Like, I, I think it is. Like, not that I want to keep trying to call it, but someone's on the line with it. So I guess it's something. Um, I don't know, guys. These numbers are spooky. Um, that's it for today of me calling haunted numbers. I think that one that just went on and on and on was enough for me. Do not try this at home. Do not risk your phone number. You just don't know where it's going. Let me do that for you guys. Anyways, guys, that was gonna be it for today's video of calling haunted, scary, cursed phone numbers at 3 a.m. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash the like and subscribe to join the Spooky Squad. I post new videos every single week and they're pretty spooky and I don't want you guys to miss out on it. Also, guys, be sure to check out my other social media linked down below. I have Instagram, I have Twitter, I have TikTok, and I wanna keep up with you guys if you guys are following me there pretty please join the family on there as well and that's gonna do it for today's video thank you all so much for watching and i'll see all of you guys in the next one bye spooky squad bye.